you were saying, you know, I was looking for that next that next black project. You know, it, it really didn't come. But what a lot of people don't know is the journey of yeah. why it didn't happen. Like we never stopped. We never went away. Like when people say, oh, you used to be in that group. I'm like, I'm still in that group. Yeah. You know right. what I'm right, saying? Right, right, like, right. no, no, no. It's it's still happening and we're still together and thriving. So it's just about no matter what the role looks like, because you mm. have an idea, right? Like, okay, it's supposed to happen just like this. Mm. And when it doesn't, sometimes you decide, okay, let me jump off the ride. Mm. But if you just stay with it, like, Really, you know, and value your group member. Mm. It's about the group. We sound crazy. Energy. That's hey, the energy. That's, <laughs> that's always the energy. I like it. I like it. I like it. We in the ATL once again. What up? We sound crazy. Your boy Fillionaire is in the building. Claude Kelly is in the building. What's up? Chuck Harmony is in the building. Bacon from Macon is in the building. What's going on, y'all? What's up, man? But, but beauty's in the middle. Absolutely. You know <laughs> always beauty. great to have some beauty. in the middle. Oh. <laughs> We're not alone. No, thank you. We are not alone. Multi-award winning. Mm -hmm. They got platinum. They got gold plaques. Oh, yeah. Legends in their own right. I'm yeah, guess. yeah. So they, when I think about groups yes. that really blaze their own trail, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This group comes to mind. We got Agreed. Brandy Williams and Shamari DeVoe, a black in the building. Woo -woo. We sound crazy. Yay. Make some noise. Let's go. Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. fireworks. <laughs> that was a very nice yeah. intro. Yeah. No, Thank but, you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I think about it. You, you literally, your group was so different but in a great way yeah. mm -hmm. and when i say i remember y'all on tour with of course tlc mm -hmm. fan yes. mail tour i think it was yes. I, I was on, I, I attended that tour it was quite good oh, okay. it was yes. quite good quite good quite good then they did you get a t-shirt though i did you got it okay. okay. do you still have the t-shirt I, 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 I don't oh man i wore it out i wore it out right. so. it'd have been cool for you to wear it today I should, I should, yeah, you should have <laughs> worn it next time <laughs> Ended off with a bang. I mean, like I said, out with TLC on tour, out with NSYNC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who we had to do what? I mean, it's just yes. like, yo, Black yeah. was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to get into some of that today. We have to get into it. Yeah. Let's, Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. How y'all feeling? It. How y'all feeling though? Like, you know what? We feel great. Yeah. You know, it's 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 been a long road, but we're still here and, and it's a blessing. So mm -hmm. yeah. it's yes. great. Yeah. It's great. When people say they feel great, it always makes me happy because you, you, I feel like you expect the negative answer. Yeah. Some people say, I feel great. I'm like, ah. Yeah, nice. no. It's, yeah. yeah, we have so many things to be grateful for. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. from Johnny Wright. I mean, he managed us in NSYNC to wow. Lisa Left Eye Lopez, who basically discovered us along yeah. with her brother Ronald Lopez, and just taking her, us under her wings and just being blessed by her direction. Like, we're just grateful mm -hmm. to be around so many amazing people and still be here and mm -hmm. be able to use our gifts and talents today. So yeah. we're blessed. That's great. Blessed. So speaking of the beginning, I I. Know know the story but i want people to know where the name black come from yeah good question. oh yeah so um we were actually ronald lopez's group first which mm. is um left eyes brother yes okay. and um he had a partner they had a um production house called black house mm. and oh, wow. we were the first group off of black house nice and so they were like, you're the first group. Let's name you guys Black. And we were like, okay. And it was spelled B-L-A-Q-U-E. Mm -hmm. But um, we always wanted it to mean something. Mm -hmm. We always wanted to, you know, just inspire people. So we needed our, our name to mean something. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ronald Lopez came with this uh, acronym. And it was... Uh, Believing in life and achieving a quest for unity in everything. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's Black. <laughs> I love a good acronym. You know? Back, yeah. back, back yeah. when names meant something. Right. 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 It, just, it went right. random. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm interested in knowing, um, what did you all... Like, how was that coming under... Ronald Lopez, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Like, what was that mm. process like getting to the first album? Because I remember seeing y'all, and I didn't know who you all were at the time, mm. but I remember seeing you all in the Lil' Kim video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lady yeah. Night. Lady Night. And yes. then a few years later, I'm like, oh, those are the girls. So mm -hmm. how was that process getting to the, the first single? Because I feel like you all just kind of came and it was up awesome. from there. It was like... 
I always looked up to TLC, and I'm sure Brandy mm -hmm. did too. So yeah. just coming underneath Lisa was just incredible. Like, oh my God, Lisa wants to work with us. Because first, like Brandy said, Ronald Lopez was the one that discovered us. But then Lisa came and she was like, nah, I'm taking that group away from you. This is going to be my group uh, now. Right. So she just, really just stole y'all. She stole us yeah, away. Pretty from, much. <laughs> she took us away from Ronald. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, just coming up under Lisa and... Um, having her just with creative control and taking us to places we never thought we could ever go. Like with Black, it was super easy because once we got with Lisa, it was just like maybe six months later and we got a record deal. Yeah. Yeah. But we had both been trying in other groups before that mm -hmm. to get record deals. I had auditioned for 10 different record labels before finally coming into Black. It only took us six months with Lisa. Yeah. So, you know, she flew us out to New York. We met with Tommy Mottola over oh. there at yeah. Sony Music off of Madison Ave. That was yeah. it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, and you know, yeah. we... We sang for him, man. He was like, yo. What, what did y'all sing? We sang. Oh, boy. What song did we, we sing? We had a three-song demo. So it was a whole production. Mm. Yes. We had a three-song demo. Natina used to write a lot of our songs back okay. when we first started. Mm. So we did um, I Do. She used to beat on the wall. Remember? Yes. <laughs> we sang Be I Do. She did a, um, a song called uh, Fell to the Ground. Mm -hmm. We did that. And we did a song called Rainbow Drive mm. that we all wrote together. Mm. Um, and that was, that was our three song mm -hmm. demo. We had a little showcase in his office mm -hmm. and um, we were so nervous. You know, we did our little, our little three songs and then he, um, sat us down and said, well, what y'all want? And we looked around and was like, we want a deal. He was like, well, you already got that. What else you want? We was like, oh, Dang. God, it's that easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he almost was, he was like, yo, if y'all don't take this deal, I'm going to lock up all the doors and I'm going to hold y'all yes. hostage. He literally told us that. Yeah. Wow. He was like, wow. what? I mean, like, why wouldn't we take this yeah. deal? Yeah. You've got to hold me hostage. I'm about to say, <laughs> right. we're, we're signing right, right now. <laughs> that was like a dream come yeah. true. You so know? How, how long was it before y'all heard 808s? It took a year. It took a year. Yeah, one year. It took a year for Actually, us to sign. Was it a year? No, so we signed in 97, but oh, our 808 didn't come out till 99. Yeah. So two right. years. It took two, two years. years. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it took two years. We were recording. They were trying to get all the right songs yes. together. And that was back when music was like live, you know, yes. even yeah, in yeah, the yeah. studio. Yeah, 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 we yeah. had like a whole orchestra come out and yeah, play. We had the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra playing yeah, on one of our Yeah, so records. it was just yeah. different. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. That's what wow. Wow. Budget. budget. Oh, yeah. That was the real budgets. The budgets were nice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we sound crazy. That was that black 808. Yeah, man. This, R. Kelly. This, this changed yeah. the game. Yeah, and you know what? It was the last song. That y'all y'all yeah, recorded? Yeah, it was the last one. We thought we were done. Mm -hmm. The album was done. Yeah. We picked a single. It was time to go. And they called and said, you're going to Chicago to work with R. Kelly. And we were like, what? We heard the record. We hated it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were like, he no. was on. Yeah, he was singing on the demo. Mm -hmm. She's got a nine to five. I was like, ooh. No. <laughs> okay. The way he, he had that fast vibrato to <laughs> it. Yeah. We were like, oh, no. I'm not quite sure. But then y'all went to Chicago. We Cabrini did. Cabrini Green. Yes, we did. We got to Chicago green. late at night. Rob was not there. Oh, Lord. He doesn't like to start. He didn't like to start recording until midnight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So, true, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we got there. It was midnight. He didn't come. He no, wasn't there he until wasn't what there. time did he show up? Probably about six in the morning. We yeah. waited. Wait, so y'all in the studio by yourselves till 6 a.m.? With Lisa. Lisa was Lisa not was leaving us. us. Right. She okay. made Lisa. Shout out Lisa. Made, yes. Shout out Lisa. Yes. Shout out Lisa. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. She flew up there with us. Yeah, she stayed there. I don't know if she knew. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I she know knew she something. Knew, but I yeah. so, she, so she came with y'all to the studio. Mm -hmm. Yep. She yeah. was that hands on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So, she was with us the entire ride cool. of the first cool. album. Yeah. So, so in the studio with R. Kelly, how was that experience? He arrives at 6 a.m. Right. Probably coming from playing basketball from yeah. right. Old White Castle. Yeah. Old White Castle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, I was tired because I, I don't like recording late at night. So when it was my turn to go in and sing and, you know, he had to go in there in the vocal booth and kind of like pump me up a little bit. He was like, man, you know, you just got to do it. He said, 
I ain't been asleep in three days. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, shoot, what, how can I even function without sleep? Yeah. You know oh what I'm saying? God. So oh, I went in there and I just sang and I was supposed to say, just let them go, what the hell? And I said, I'm not going to curse. I said, I'm not going to say the hell word. And then he said, well, just say what the deal. So I said, just let them go, what the deal? Wow. So, you know, that's yeah. little, little, little mm. stuff y'all don't really know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And... So we were just there, right? We're just at the studio. Lisa and I cut those background vocals. We went in. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Lisa was like, let's just go. Brandy, you can go in there and say So we just started doing the backgrounds. We went and started the background vocals before he got there. And so it was like half of it was done. Right. Then when Shamari went in, she went in and cut the lead and then put her, her um, lead on the backgrounds. And we were done. This is this is what year is this? 97? 98. 98. 98. 98. Yeah. yeah. So think about having no disrespect to y'all, but think about having left eye weight in 1998 yeah. from 12 to 6 in the oh, morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he did that. <laughs> yeah. You know the business. Sometimes people treat new artists a little crappy. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm not saying that you deserve it, but yeah. I can almost understand what he's like. I'm not, but this in '98, which I'll talk like. Right. Yeah. Left eye just sitting in the, in the studio at midnight. Like, Waiting no, yeah. wait on no Rob. Right. Waiting on no Rob. In 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 the spirit That's of crazy. In the mm -hmm. spirit of empathy, we always hear a lot of bad about R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Can y'all tell uh, the people one good thing about R. Mm. Good question. Oh, I got to know uh, Robert she, Kelly. She did after Black mm -hmm. came out. I hung with Rob. Mm -hmm. I learned that, and that's why I feel comfortable calling him Rob because mm -hmm. I he's yeah. a he's a friend of mine really. Mm. And um, you know he he's a genius. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got to watch him record so many incredible records. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, I've never seen a person take a cigar, hit the cigar, hit the drink, and sang yeah, 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 like yeah, he yeah. could. I've never experienced it. Yeah. So he is a musical genius. I do know that. I witnessed it firsthand. Mm. Yeah. Very, very, Same. very amazing artist. It's genius. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, genius. And I I hate that it gets lost in the process, but mm -hmm. yeah. Can't nobody do what he was what he was doing and seeing and creating. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. It's so true. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I want to know one of your favorite memories of Lisa Left Out Lopez. Uh, mm. Good question. So many. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, oh my God. What was what is what is I think our one of mine, I mean, that's a that's a heavy question. But um, so I think just knowing her for real and like really getting to be in her personal space mm. and seeing how she really loved people mm -hmm. and how she treated people, it was never about left eye. Mm -hmm. She was always Lisa. Yeah. Wow. Period. Right. Like how she treated fans and just family like you can bring anybody around Lisa and she'd mm -hmm. be like hey what you doing what's mm -hmm. up you know like she yeah. was super cool and people didn't really get to see that I wish people would have seen that more of mm. her but yeah. we were her babies we were mm. I like I felt like when the whole world was against me she was the only one that was for me mm -hmm. and um like even when we got dropped from Columbia Records, mm -hmm. you know, she would call me like, whatever you want, Shamari, like, I got you. You want to do solo, you want to do black, whatever you want to do, like, mm -hmm. I'm here. You know, she was always there. And, um, ah, man, she was so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was so much fun from coming over to the house and shooting some hoops, playing basketball, yeah. to staging a fake robbery. Wait, yeah, what? she did that. Staging a fake robbery? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We were all at her house, and she decided to play a huge prank on us, and... She did a little fake robbery. She mm -hmm. went to the store and she bought all these toy guns and her and all her ski whole mask. little crew ski masks. Yeah. They came in there mm -hmm. and they was like, just get the, get the fuck down on the floor, man. And like, we were seriously what? thinking we were getting robbed. <laughs> yeah. oh, this was like, in the seriously. middle of the night. Yes. Yeah, like this and, and she filmed us like all on the ground. She said, now everybody count to 100. So we all on the ground with our hands tied behind <laughs> our back. What? And she's yeah. filming us and we're mm -hmm. counting. And then we 
real, and then Tamira Gray comes down, which is one of our other artists, and says, prank or food, yo, whatever she said. And we turned around, we was like, oh my God, we really thought we were getting stuck up at her house. Wait a minute, Tamira yeah. Gray, Tamira Gray? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Tamira Gray. Tamira yeah. Gray. Yeah. American Idol Tamira Gray? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was no up idea. as an artist as well? Yeah. Yep. She I was, was today years group. old. She Shout out to Tamira Gray. That's, yes. that's the home. Yes. Yes. She was yes. in a group with her sister called uh, Silhouette. Yeah, wow. Silhouette. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So, so what is something that you all learned from her um, that you all are still able to kind of carry with you today i mean she was super introspective and like if you listen to a lot of her raps Mm -hmm. it's you know you she educates you when you listen to a lot of her her stuff so what is something that she might have instilled in you all or some wisdom that she might have given you all as a group um that you all are still kind of carrying with you to this day man um just don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Yeah. Mm. Um, and just to have that confidence, like she gave me more confidence to sing just by her being so positive and and just very uh, motivational and her words of aspiration. She was just always positive. Mm. Um, so, you know, like I said, when I felt like the whole world was against me, she was for me. Mm. So it was just deeper than just her coming out and getting us a record deal it's like she was like like a mom to us you know or a big sister or whatever um so i talk a little bit about that in the unsung about me and lisa's conversations and some things Mm -hmm. that came came out you know where she was the one that was definitely she had my back and i just i love her miss her dearly you know she's she was just amazing man it almost feels like sorry no go ahead sorry i was gonna say it almost feels like the, we know so many stories about the nightmares of artists and labels and all that stuff. And certainly TLCs mm-hmm. were mm-hmm. hugely publicized. So it almost seems like because she went through that and knew that, she was like really nurturing to make oh, sure that yeah. y'all didn't experience mm-hmm. the same. Mm-hmm. For sure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Super wow. protective yeah. Yeah. over us. Like yeah. she fought for us. For everything. Black had a lot of stuff that most artists coming out the gate would mm. not never have, you know, like we yeah. creative control over pretty much everything, how we look, what we wanted to sound like everything, but it was because of her, you know, she made sure that our voices were heard. So That's for awesome. sure. So y'all, you said that both of y'all were doing the girl group thing from the start. Mm-hmm. What is it about girl groups that, that caught y'all attention that made you want to be in a girl group? Mm. I mean, I just love being around other females in the sisterhood and mm. just the fun times. We had so many great times together, so many um, uh, great experiences. And then not only that, but the girl groups was hot back then. So yeah. who yeah. wouldn't? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wanted to Everybody be in a girl group. Wanted to be in a girl group. <laughs> like who wouldn't yes. want to be in one? You yep. know what I'm saying? So, and then when you're in girl groups with people that you knew before you were in the girl group, uh-huh. like mm-hmm. me and Natina, rest in peace. I've known her since we were 10 years old. Mm. Right. Wow. And then with Brandy, I've known her since she was 12. Mm-hmm. So when we came together, we had already formed a friendship and a mm-hmm. relationship. So it made it even that much better. Yeah. That's awesome. That's Spe- awesome. Speaking, Speaking of girl groups, uh-oh. I I vividly remember the summer 808 was like everywhere <laughs> uh-huh. because it was y'all. Mm-hmm. 702 was huge with where my girls yes. at. And Bills, Bills, Bills was all mm-hmm. on the, mm-hmm. All three records were like back and forth on the radio at the time. What do you remember specifically about like spring summer 99 when all of those records were just crazy yeah (laughs) i remember it just being crazy Mm -hmm. i remember like you saying listening to the radio and it was either scrubs or then you heard you know 808 then it was bills and and then of course where my girls it was it was just crazy and for us to be a part of that you know was just amazing it was a dream come true y'all got to do a, a duet with destiny's child right we did a Christmas yeah. album yeah, 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 yeah. with Destiny's Child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all of the artists that were signed on Columbia Records okay. at the time. They did. We did uh, Someday at Christmas. It was like Jagged Edge, Alicia Keys, yeah, mm-hmm. Destiny's Child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we did a um, a song with. JC from NSYNC. That was Bring It All to Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we did. Um, the record with uh, Jagged for um, for the Big, the Big Mama, Mama House song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can always go. I yes, <laughs> come on, Black. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, absolutely. Come on, this is the music aficionado over all here. Right, oh, all right, all yeah. right. Yeah. 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 So I got to ask you: We were talking about girl groups. What is Black's girl group Mount Rushmore? Four slides. Can it be 
Females and males? Yeah. Okay. I would love to do both. Let's do okay. that. Okay. Definitely for me, boys to men. Mm-hmm. Jodeci. Mm-hmm. Escape. Okay. And In Vogue. Mm. And TLC, can I have five? <laughs> <laughs> you can have five. I'm about no, no, to Shemar, say, wait and, a minute. Shemar, no new edition? Like, no BBD? Nah, man. Yeah. <laughs> no. Nah, I was like, feeling nah. ABC and the boys. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh-oh. Yeah. Shots yep. fired. Shots yeah. fired, right. So for me, I would say definitely TLC, for sure. I would say I was crazy about um, In Vogue. I remember, like, that whole movement was insane. Um, Escape. Uh, SWV. Mm-hmm. <sighs> can I get five too? You can have Dang. five. Dang. Okay. <laughs> and um, I was like a super fan of Immature back in the day. Okay. I really you was. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> hold on. I was. Hold on. Hold on. Imma- I was. People don't act like Immature. They were a. They were a movie. They were huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, come on. They were I, I used to love. We. Got I mean, it. Staples on Nickelodeon for real. Like. Okay. We got it, baby. You mm-hmm. are. I mean, constantly, <laughs> like, come on, guys. Or the video, Never lie. Or the video for Please uh-huh, Don't Go. Like, right. that, that video oh, yeah. traumatized me as a kid. Oh, like, when the <laughs> girl passed away in the video, I'm like, oh, why Lord. they had to do that? Yes. <laughs> Phil, you're not, you're not on the immature train? <laughs> no. He's like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We sound crazy. smash yeah man. Um, bring it all to me, me yeah. everywhere how did because uh, that's jc singing lead right yeah. uh, singing killing it singing he's, he's yes because that, that's yeah. actually one of the songs that i do my vocal warm-up like how <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah please please don't please yeah. don't co-sign yeah. his <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it's a part please it's on the part on that second chorus where it's like he says diamond rings i don't yeah. know if you you know the rhyme yeah. that's yeah, yeah i can do that i can kill oh, that. that's you yeah that's i can, I can okay. smash that i can punch that in i promise you yeah <laughs> but no, but how did you all connect with NSYNC? Was that Lisa who made the connection? Johnny Wright. Yeah, that was Johnny. Johnny Wright. Mm-hmm. He he was our manager. So, you know, he also managed NSYNC and Britney, Britney Spears. Yeah. So we he got JC on there, you yeah. know. And wasn't it? So it was supposed to be somebody else, yes, right? Yes. Originally, when we first cut the record, it was Usher. Mm-hmm. Originally. That's who they wanted. Okay. But Usher's mama was like, he ain't doing it because we were nobodies. <laughs> so <laughs> it didn't happen. Um, shout out to Usher. We still love you. No, it's all good. <laughs> um, and then, you know, moving forward, we still needed a feature. And um, once we got with Johnny in sync, we were actually like really good friends with NSYNC. We loved them. Mm-hmm. They loved us. And Justin was actually supposed to do it. That's right. Justin, um, I think he was shooting a movie at the time and it just didn't work out. So then it was like next best thing, which ended up being the best, best thing. thing yeah. Right. Which, um, you know, JC was like, I'll do it. And it was great. It and, was great. Yeah. And that single was actually forced to be our second single yes. because we actually released I Do. Mm-hmm. We shot a million dollar video. Took plus, three days. Took three days to <laughs> shoot the video for I Do. But yes. the fans just kept calling the radio station and mm-hmm. requesting Bring it all to me by Black, and right. you know, so we were forced to put that out as our second single. And so Shamari had to cut the second verse. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we can perform the record. That's, mm-hmm. that's right. why. That's oh. how it happened. It was oh. like we literally fl- flew from San Diego. We were going to a um, award show. I think it was the Lady of Soul Awards or mm-hmm. something. And Shamari had to go in and cut the mm-hmm. the verse right before we hit the red carpet. Like it was like. The singles out. Come on, Elephant Brain. You know, I'm Elephant <laughs> Brain. Everything. <laughs> yes. Right before the red carpet for the food. Yes, it was That's like crazy. cut it, get to the carpet. I gotta that ask y'all this because social media gonna get us if if one of us don't ask this. Okay. Okay. What was y'all's thought when JC said, "Are you feeling my Tim's <laughs> oh, in the back of jeans, my thug appeal? <laughs> Cause but every you know. cause I'm like he he sang down on the record now. Right. But I'm like, really, JC? What thug appeal? Your thug question? appeal? He got some thug appeal. Leave him okay. alone. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag leave JC alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let him have his thug appeal. He, you know, he you know, those were the I lyrics. Love that. I love that song. I, yeah. That was a great song. Billy Lawrence was uh oh, yeah, Billy man, Lawrence. I used to be obsessed with Billy Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. she was beautiful. Billy Lawrence. Yes. Billy Lawrence is 
She wrote the song. Yeah. She, she wrote record. It. She did the backgrounds mm-hmm. on the song. Yeah. She wrote the song. Yes, mm-hmm. that's her. Hit. That's Billy. If that's you Billy. really listen to the backgrounds, yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's crazy. I usually, I usually know these things. I usually know these things. Slipping, son. Well, you know. who's who's some of your other favorite songwriters you've worked with? Oh, that we worked with Candy. Yeah, Candy. Candy she did the eight hundred eight remix. Yeah, the remix. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sleep on that candy pen. Yeah. For that real. candy pen is lethal. That candy pen is lethal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had some really cool people that we got a chance to work Diane with. Diane Warren. Did. I was just about to say Diane mm-hmm. Warren. Big in the pop scene. Oh, you know, yeah. Those yeah. ballads. Uh, uh. Yep. Who else? Yeah, I think um, when we first started out, like those records that were kind of like album cuts that, mm-hmm. you know, you got to know to know. Yeah. I think like Stay By Your Side, those mm-hmm. type of records, those, those writers were just writing really good songs mm-hmm. back then. They Mariah just, Carey wrote a song on our album. Yeah, yep. Don't Go Looking For Love. Don't Go Looking For yeah. Love. Dang. That was cool. Corey Rooney. Like Mariah, Mariah Carey yeah. 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 Diane Moore. Yeah. Big deal. Candy yeah. 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 That's actually yeah. one of my favorite songs on the, on the debut. That really? song. Because yeah, oh, I was yeah. like, Mariah, like, I mean, it just... It sounds like Mariah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. for sure. I had strep band. throat when I recorded that song, by the way. Sure did. a bit of information. You know you had strep throat and cut the record. I sure did. Mm-hmm. You know. Vocals, no. <laughs> <laughs> Skills. 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 Oh, my. That's what's up. I want to rewind for one second, all the way to the very beginning, because we mentioned it for a quick second, that Not Tonight video. Mm. Okay. So you're a brand new artist, no songs out, and you show up at this video set. <laughs> yeah. And basically every black woman in music Absolutely. is there on the set. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just, first of all, I want to hear about your experience, but also just paint the picture of that video shoot because it's like obviously it's little Kim it's uh, Left Eye mm. the Brat the Brat it's Angie, Angie Martinez, Martinez. Missy. Missy Missy Mary's there Mary. SMUV's yeah. there I remember T-Bot Total, Total. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. talk about it oh man it was in Fort Lauderdale right yeah, yeah we, we drove. drove we drove mm-hmm. down it was about what 11 hours 10, yeah. 10, 10 9 10 hours in a like caravan that. Lisa had everybody that she loved <laughs> on that highway from Atlanta <laughs> To Fort Lauderdale. Because <laughs> this was Lisa's shoot, by the way. Everybody getting the van. Yeah, we going. Everybody was there. And um, man, we had a blast. We did. It was so fun. Just being around all of these people that we look up to, like mm-hmm. Missy, watching her do her little scene when she was in the video doing all yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, all of yeah. this. I was like, oh my God, like this is what I want to be a part of. Mm-hmm. Like it was just inspiring. And just, oh. It was just fun. It was, it was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We went jet skiing, for real, yeah. for real. Mm. We were there um, for days. We were there for a long time. Mm-hmm. We was we had a good time. It was it was the perfect video shoot. Yeah. It was. It Everybody like got it. along. It, like it. it was yeah. no, like, you know, they were like female drama. It was none of that. Everybody was having a good time. And Lisa we were just had our happy whole to be crew. there. Yeah. Remember we was mm-hmm. on stage, y'all catch the scene when we yes. was on stage with the blue um, yes. jerseys and the yeah, shirt yeah, 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 and the yeah. shorts. That's her whole crew. That's the whole Left Eye Productions. That's mm-hmm. exactly how we were when we was at the club. It was that same yeah. crew that we she went had out on the that stage. night. Remember we went out that night mm-hmm. after yeah. I remember it that. Was crazy. Yes, yeah. the nineties. I miss the nineties. So really much yeah. fun. It was more fun, more free. Way more fun oh, and way yeah. more free. Yeah. And the music was just better. Yeah. So much better. <laughs> yeah. Damn. We so crazy. I don't like what you're kicking, son. Now leave. Cause even if I leave alone, I'm good. And even if you come along, I'm good. Don't mean a thing to me cause I'm good. Same. Same. <laughs> Man. That mm-hmm. still mm-hmm. feel good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, still feel- yeah, man. I'm good. I still, to this so, day. So, so yeah. what's your favorite song to perform now? I'm good. I was just about to say <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one, That's it the just one. showcases the vocal abilities, yeah. 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 The, the dancing. It's yeah. just the, it's a fun song. I absolutely love working with Ronnie Jerkins, but especially Sean Daniels. Oh, yes. Yes. Rest in peace. He was like the best vocal producer yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. Yeah. Like yeah. he's amazing. The way he was bringing it out of us. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. It was yeah. incredible. So I really love that song. And I'm good, really, when it came out back then. It didn't really blow up mm-hmm. like that in the States. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it blew up in other places. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Germany and yeah. all, you know, in Europe and different places. So we went on tour over there. But now I feel like, you know, the States, they're just now catching on to it. Because yeah. mm-hmm. everywhere I look, I see people making up routines and choreography yes. to yes. it. And that's, yeah. that's, that's the great thing about social media is that 
no song is really old. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. They'll discover it and make a whole new thing out of it now. So yes. you're probably getting all new fans discovering. Yes. Yes. It's amazing. Sound. I'm Ooh. Good is like a brand new song for us right now. Like people love it. Like kids, all kind. It's it's crazy. Why do y'all think that song, Mike, is just now getting the, the recognition it deserves? Because I remember feeling like, okay, where's this next black album? Mm -hmm. And never came. Right. And, you know, of course, we heard the songs from the, the Blackout album and Torch and all mm -hmm. those, those, those songs later on. But, you know, it's like, why do you think that song didn't hit the way that it should have? Because it's still a banger to this day. Well, I think... Um well, I, I don't. I don't want to say I think. I know because mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it was real life. Yeah. Um, you know, we had a really um, interesting time back then. We were kind of um, the three of us were going through, you know, group issues. Natina, we had just yeah. kind of lost Lisa, right? So yeah. now mm -hmm. leaving um, or you know getting dropped from our original Columbia. Columbia mm -hmm. Then it was like, okay, cool, moving over here to Electra. Kind of trying to figure out what that's like yeah. over there with Sylvia. Like, eh, is it, do we really want to be here? Is this really a good fit? Okay, cool. Let's do this record. And then Natina was trying to figure out, do I even want to do music anymore? Mm. Do I even really want to do this? Like, what am I doing? She had just had her son, just lost Lisa, trying to figure out personally where she was, you know, mm. spiritually, all of that. So it was kind of, we were just in a real interesting time. And then while all of that's going on, Electra's trying to figure out if they're even going to still be right a, a around. Label. Right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So we were, we were right there at the tail end when they mm. were, they just like, we had Sylvia Rome, but then they fired her in the midst of, you know, our album coming out. Right. So they was like, what are we going to do with black? Yeah. You know, right. Sylvia Rome is gone and she's the one that signed black. So mm. let's get rid of black. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it was it was a real <laughs> time. But guess what? We do have the masters. So. Okay. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes. Black and I'm wins. I'm yes. good. We own that. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, ownership. Uh, thank, you, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We sound crazy. So, Brandy, I never knew that was you on Grill. Me either. Yeah. I never knew until, until like a couple years ago. Yeah, no, I know. The that. world never really knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did that it's come me. How did you connect with Nelly? How did mm. that no collaboration come about? <laughs> well, you know, things happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, you know. Things just kind of happen. Yeah, things just kind of happen. happen. And, uh, you know, it, it comes, it, it came from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, we were we were good friends and um, you know, had a cool relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh he hit me up one time uh, late at night, like, yo, I need you to come and uh do this record for me. And I was like, What? No, I'm not coming down. He was like, Please, let's, please, I need you to come down. I came down to he was here down to uh So So Deaf mm. and he played me the record and I was like, Cool, I cut it at like two, three in the morning. They'd love and, to have y'all in the studio. Right. Right. Yes. You know it was in the <laughs> middle of the night. And I was like, for real? Like, I'm not coming. And he was like, please, I need you on this hook, please. And I came down and I I cut it in, I don't know, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. We did 30 it. Minutes. Yeah. Like, it was like in and out. It was very Jeez. easy. Yep. But um, it ended up being a hit record, a number one record for, yeah, uh, for Nelly. Record. Yeah. So. Yeah. Happy to be a part. Y'all got the golden touch. Let's keep yeah. it real. Y'all on the record. Things work out. So Things work out. Things work out. Yeah, Thank we love you. grills. I'm happy about that. So part. what are y'all listening to today that, that excites you? Mm. What excites me? Hmm. I think when I hear, I know when I heard. <laughs> yeah, she's going to have to think for a while. Let's take it back to the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> like today, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I know when I heard Lucky. It, I, I felt something. Mm -hmm. Lucky day. Yeah, I really yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. I did. I, I felt something good. Daniel. She's there? Yeah. yeah. I felt something. Uh, her. Mm -hmm. I like her. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's that's the uh, the gist of it for me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but, you know, uh, I get excited when I see my sister Cody Shane doing her thing, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Mm -hmm. That makes me excited because she's a part of this new generation and what's, you know, what's popping. So 
that makes me excited. But um, yeah, music is in a real interesting place for me mm. right now. Wow. What yeah. about you, Shamarine? I like gospel music. Yes. I'm feeling the gospel yeah. music yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's mm. my style. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. yeah. I, yep. I got to ask y'all this. I feel like we kind of glossed over it earlier, but bring it on. Like, okay. that's a cult classic to this day. Yeah. Like the movie? The movie, bring it on. We should discuss yeah. the movie. It's yeah, a, like, it's definitely you a tried to classic. steal our bit, but you look like shit. Oh, we were yeah. down with like, it. Okay. I think a lot of us still know lines from that movie. Yeah. How did you all come to get that opportunity, and just what are your fondest memories of filming that movie? Well, we didn't have to audition. That's right. Um, you know, they asked for us, and we were like, hey, we're shooting a movie. Okay, in the middle of all the other craziness that's happening. Yeah. Um, flew to San Diego, started um, cheer camp cheer because camp. we were real cheer, cheerleaders. Okay. Cheer real cheerleaders. Yes, that was real. We were doing all the stunts. We were getting up in the air. And really? Yes, mm-hmm. we were doing all of those. It was like yeah. a real intense cheer camp that we had to do. Um, choreographed by Hi Hat. I don't know yeah. if y'all remember Hi Hat. Yeah. Yeah. She did dope. everything. Yeah, back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was it was nice. I mean. T- uh, who wouldn't want to be in a movie like mm-hmm. that? You know, I mean, to be honest, it, you, well, it used to be called, what was it called, Brandy? Cheer Fever. It used to be called Cheer Fever, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of thought the movie was a little corny. Yeah. Like, I ain't going to front. I thought it was corny. Yeah. And when I went to see it at, at the premiere, I was like, oh, God, this is so corny. But like, <laughs> maybe, what was it, like a year later when it finally came mm-hmm. out, it just blew up. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the number one movie in America yeah. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. 14 weeks. Right. Like, it yes. was crazy. And it's yeah. still crazy. a cheerleading cult favorite to this day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brianna's always on TV. Always. Right? Like, yes. Always on television. Yes. It really is a cult favorite. It really sure. is. Yeah. And I mean, I really did start to like it after that. Like, I had to watch it like a few more times. And... <laughs> <It's> like, once, <laughs> once, once it was number one, I really Yeah. Enjoyed. We were like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Well, well, if you guys like it, I love, I love it, too. it. Right. right. We right. love right. it. Because right. this was, you know, amazing. But I think no, the, it was the, great. the dope thing about that was, is the fact that you have these black girls and you all like this is a not just a the word urban an urban film. This mm-hmm. is something that like you all were pop, are pop stars. Yeah. yeah, like you all came out the gate. That's cool. Like thank just you. Pop, it's the truth. Pop yeah. stars. As yeah. if I mean being everywhere when that movie like the the song is running at the end of the movie. Like mm-hmm. not a lot of people get that. So yeah, I've always just thought that was so cool how you all yeah. out the gate was. And every yeah. Halloween, we see a, you know. Yeah. We see us. The see Clovers, us. you know, they come back every Halloween. Uh-huh. Yes. We see the Clovers. We yes. see the black album cover when we oh, had on yeah. the bubble wrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we yeah. see that. So like, oh, every wow. year, we look forward to that. That's Has there awesome. ever been like a reunion or anything for them? You know, so many people have asked about that. And we're just hoping that Gabby decides, because, you know. She would be the one to make it happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If uh, Gabby decides to play ISIS again, you know, that she would call us and we could do it together. It would be incredible. I yeah. think the fans would die. Can we just yes. get y'all together and y'all can just kind of talk about it? <laughs> Let's right. do it. We sound crazy. You can lay your bones on the wrong side of my pillow. I got room for skeletons in your closet. Skeletons. Mm. Mm, mm, That's mm. about blueprint. <laughs> yes. Y'all remember the Encore course, TV yeah. show? Oh, yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah. So, Shamar, <laughs> I have to just connect because we first met when I was doing R&B Divas yes. and we were exploring. Me going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and coming over there. Yeah. yeah. And um, unfortunately, that didn't work out. Right. But what did work out was Encore. Yes, the Encore. Which yes. was a hit show, by the yeah. way. Mm-hmm. That show was incredible. Um, you know, it was actually... Um, a producer leaked the sizzle reel for that. Like we had did the whole encore, but it was called, um, what was it called? Um, something, girl group something, mm-hmm. but um, Carlos King had did it with us like five years ago and then somebody leaked it during COVID and then BET saw it and they're like, oh my God, we want to we wanna film this. Mm. So um, it was... It was interesting because it was literally right after COVID. So I'm like, should I go? You know, or should I stay in the house? It was like, and then it was, it was something that I love to do, which is sing. Like that's, that's my passion. So I'm thinking, okay, well, what harm can it be in going to do this reality show with these other girls and sing? You know, that's Mm -hmm. what I love to do. Boy, was I wrong. (laughs) Drama. (laughs) Drama. Like it was just so much. It was, it was dumb drama. It was like, all I really wanted to do was record, right? And then when we finally did record, we finally got the music out. 
nobody wanted to do anything with it. Mm. Like, I'm like calling up people and I'm like, hey, guys, let's do this. Like, Carlos wants us to do it. Carlos King is like, come on, man, I'll manage you guys. Let's just get this done. Yeah. You know, and it was just not everybody was in agreement. Keely, you know, she got, ended up having a baby and she didn't, she wasn't really interested at the time. And then Pam, she wanted to do her gospel record and, my husband kept, he was kept getting on me. He was like, call Felicia, call Fallon. Y'all need to get this out. Y'all need to go on tour. Y'all need this. This album is incredible. Like, but it just never happened, man. So that's why I really don't even, I hate talking about it because it was just such a sad thing to record all of those hits and then they not come out. Yeah, yeah, nothing nothing came out. There for yeah. Real. But I really love it. And that's why whenever I perform my solo show, I do a little <laughs> skeletons for y'all. Why not? Give I little, do. Give them all those skeletons. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, like, when I go and perform it, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Give, Not... give, give, give them the hits. Why, why? Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. She's like, no. I was good. She's like, no. She's like, I see no check for that <laughs> here. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, that's yeah. so, Shamari, reality TV and no go going forward? Because you've done it a few times at this point. Yeah, yes. I've done it. I, oh, yeah, I've done uh, The Housewives, mm -hmm. Encore, Couples Retreat. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what it is. These people just keep calling me, man. They just keep, <laughs> good they, TV. Just, they just keep calling me. I don't know why. Good it TV. is, you know, it's not like I, I don't look at myself as a reality TV star. This is what I do. I mean, I'm not saying that I won't do it again, but it just has to be the right, mm -hmm. the right one. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like I felt like the encore was right because it was singing, and then obviously couples retreat because I'm a marriage ambassador. Me and my husband have been married for 18 years, Hello, so nine. I'm thinking, well, well, why don't we couples retreat? We can bring some. Something and help other couples and Absolutely, inspire yeah. and things like that. So at this point, it would have to be something that would be an inspiration to the world rather than just a bunch of mess. Mm -hmm. I'm over the mess. Do yeah. you feel like reality ha has been helpful or hurtful? to? Because to, I know because you're a musician. Mm -hmm. like, like Everything that you're saying is about wanting to put out music in the studio. Do you feel like it was... It's helped keep the, your career going, or you feel like you're like, damn, I, I shouldn't. Do you, any no, regrets, I, it's basically? definitely helped keep okay. my career going. It okay. definitely did that. Um, it, it was the hugest magnifying glass ever. Like people, <laughs> people were going up to Ron and saying, "Aren't you Shamari Devoe's wife?" Wow. Instead of <laughs> Ronnie Devoe. <laughs> like, yeah, you know. So it was like it's, it, it definitely helped, and mm. um, it. I, I look at it like it was a good thing. It really mm. was. It was a good thing. I learned from. I learned from it. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, I feel like there's so many people that springboard their music from reality TV, yeah. but you were I was already, a pop star. I was already there. That's already why there. it wasn't like, for me, I don't have to ever do another reality TV show ever again in my life, mm -hmm. ever again. Like, I don't really care. Like some of the people that are on reality TV shows, that's what they do. That's their living. Mm -hmm. That's why I was trying to tell them. Like, I knew they was going to try to come for me. Like, who are you? Like, no, you can Google me all the way back Receive, to the 1990s. Yeah. <laughs> like, who are you? You're new from reality TV. Like I'm, I'm Shamari DeVoe, Shamari Fears. So let's right. go back, you yeah. know, bring it all to me, bring it on black platinum selling artists here. Mm -hmm. So I really don't need it. You know, I'm, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed to have my beautiful family, my six-year-old twins, mm. my amazing husband. And, you know, if the opportunity comes and it's right for me and my family, then yes, I'll do it. But all that other petty stuff, nah, I'm yeah. good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> we sound crazy. Hey, boy, I don't mean to be rude. So we talked about Natina a few times in the episode. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a fond memory of your group member, Natina. Oh, jeez. So many. Where do we start? Yeah. The fact that she just, after we got dropped from Columbia, the fact that she got on a plane and flew to New York and sat down with Sylvia Rohn and got us a record deal. We didn't even have to go there and wow. be with yeah. her. Like, really? She, yeah. No, we didn't. She yeah. went all the way out there and then she flew back to Atlanta. She, she called us up. She said, girls. She always called us girls. Girls, <laughs> right. <laughs> girls, I got us a deal. It was like, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that right there just shows her, her motivation, her ambition, mm. and just how much she just... She really loved black. She loved yeah. music. She loved performing. She was so talented. She wrote. She was a genius. Like, yeah. she would come up with hits like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Natina was. So, 
what I want people to know about black is like, you know, yeah, we're in a group and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we have to be around each other because we're in a group and it's been, you know, over 20 years. But like, we are like family. Mm -hmm. Like, this is my sister. Mm -hmm. We lost a sister, Mm -hmm. you know, so it's bigger than these songs and, you know, all of that. But um, she was somebody like I always would tell people, like, if you met Natina, you would never forget her. Mm -hmm. She was like a, a, a walking tornado. Like she come in a room and tear it up. Good or bad, she coming in. It's like it's a the perfect storm has walked in this room. But she was just so incredibly talented. Like she had so much in that little bitty body because she was just a little bitty frame. Um, but she just, I mean, she wanted to do so much. She wanted to move over to film and you know create her own films and have her own film studio. I remember her talking about that, and she was just incredible, incredible. We talked to um. Mila ah. from 702 not too long ago, and yeah. she was obviously going much more fresh, obviously, but yeah. experiencing it. She had a lot of it, it, interesting things to say about just sisterhood, too, and mm-hmm. family, mm-hmm. and what it's like to have to, to, to deal with losing a member, mm-hmm. and the support that she got, and the support she didn't get, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it's like you, uh, you could feel the, the pain, but also the love when she was talking, mm-hmm. and instantly I thought of the other groups unfortunately that have yeah. had gone through that so I, you guys are part of a, a tiny but a unfortunate clique of of, yeah. of yeah. groups mm-hmm. that yeah. do you guys do you find support from other people in the Definitely. industry other girl oh, group yeah. members I mm-hmm. know for one um, me and Irish were close because of the encore <clears throat> okay. and um, I I st- I mean, I went to her home going service. I still stay in communication, obviously, with Misha mm. and and Mila. And because I know how it is to lose somebody mm. and yeah. it's really, really hard, especially when they're like your sister and it's and it's so tragic and suddenly and you just don't expect it. So in public. Yeah, yes. in public. Yeah. So I mean, just just a phone call, just saying I'm here, you know, whatever it is, just making sure you're you're there for them. Not just during the the, the passing time. and the time when it's the funeral, oh my mm-hmm. God, this and mm-hmm. but afterwards too, because they really need that support. It's it's a long term thing. Like I I still am not to a point where it's easy for me with Natina because mm-hmm. that was my best friend. Mm-hmm. So I mean I understand it's it it takes a lot and it. Basically, you may need to talk to somebody, even a trauma therapist, anybody to help. And that's something that I know that I need to do. I have not done that, but I feel like I definitely do because with Lisa's passing, then Natina's passing, it's just a lot. It's a lot on you. It weighs really heavy. Yeah, for sure. I know, um, you know, we we happen to be friends, you know, throughout this industry and to see them go through what we, you know, have been through, you know, it's just we felt like we lost a sister, you Mm -hmm. know, because we were all just really cool and tight and to see them grow and and them to see our career grow. Like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a family. So, um, you know, it's it's like losing a, losing another sister, honestly. Uh, I want to ask for what advice would you offer? Let's say that 16 year old young sister who's in Atlanta and it's three of them and there are three or four and they're trying to form their group. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give that young girl group, like based on your experience and your journey? Hmm. I think that um, my biggest thing is to just um, like, don't stop, like never stop. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, you know, I was looking for that that next black project. You know, it it really didn't come. But what a lot of people don't know is the journey of why it didn't happen. Like we never stopped. We never went away. Like when people say, oh, you used to be in that group. I'm like, I'm still in that group. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. It's, It's still happening and we're still together and thriving so it's just about no matter what the role looks like because you Mm. have an idea right like okay it's supposed to happen just like this Mm. and when it doesn't sometimes you decide okay let me jump off the ride Mm. but if you just stay with it like really you know and value your group member Mm. it's about the group if Mm. you're in a group that's what it's about like this is this my left and right arm now you Mm. know so like value that because it, it really you know means something to the long road 
That's what I would say. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's but she good. just said everything that I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, first I was going to say, don't give up. Right, you know? right, 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 right. <laughs> don't quit. Right. Don't give up. Don't quit. <laughs> you know, dream big. Right, right, right. <laughs> the typical thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was going to say, love on each other. Yeah. Yeah. Love on each other. Like she said, you are sisters. You mm. are brothers. You guys are working together. Yeah. And you, like we've been through so much mm. and you just never know. When, if something would happen, God forbid. So yeah. just continue to love on each other and try to get along as much yeah. as you can mm -hmm. because it's really hard. It's really yeah. hard with all these different personalities. Yeah. It really yeah. is. But yeah. you just have to find a way to work through it and get it done and don't give up, like Brandy said, right. because it's worth it in the end. Yeah, It's, it's worth definitely it. worth it. Yeah, for sure. Esther Roll. Award. I can It's about it's that time. It's about that time. It's about that time for the Esther Roll Black Excellence Award, otherwise known as the Irby. Okay. Now, you said you liked gospel earlier. Yeah. That's your thing. So that's, you know, Esther Roll, Good Times. for That's her gospel album. What? Wow. The Garden of My Mind. The Garden of that My Mind. Good. Nice. It sounds good, good right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Shamar's going to be driving listen to one. Yes, <laughs> she is. The Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, Timon discovered it and put a song where like we didn't know that was even a thing so that got us talking about all the icons, legends that probably don't get the love they deserve mm. for just their input art in our business there's so many people that deserve love and flowers and yeah. sometimes yeah, yeah, it boils yeah. down to that four person, five person category it's politics, it's, but, mm. so we want to take time on our podcast to highlight people in our industry that have done amazing things mm. So we set up this award called the Irby Award. We all nominate someone every week. You know, y'all are on the panel, so you're part of the part of Congress here. You got to vote. Yeah. And then we just we we give we give an award to someone who we think really deserves some love. Okay. So welcome to the Irby segment. Love it. Love it. So I'll kick it off this week. Mm. My nomination is an actual manager, mm. an mm. executive. Okay. Mm. Shamari and Brandy both talked about him a few times in the conversation. Yes. Johnny Wright. Okay. Johnny Wright. Johnny All was right. the manager for Black. Yes. NSYNC, mm -hmm. Britney, mm -hmm. and so many others, and still going to this day with mm -hmm. Justin and others. So yeah. Johnny Wright is my recommendation for the Irby this week. Mm. I like Thanks. that. Who's going next? I think I'm going to go with a TV show oh. this week. Okay. Um, I've been in my a different world bag for the last oh. two weeks. Oh. You've been um, watching the old episodes? All of them, like all six seasons. Even season one? You know, I, in my opinion, in order to, to kind of figure out two through six, you got to get some remnants of season one. So I don't, I don't diss season one, even though I'm it's pretty you know, dry. But, but right. um, <laughs> I'm going to put a different world on the table because okay. I think it inspired so many of us to go to school, specifically HBCUs. Yeah, Facts, huh? yeah, yeah. it's, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't see that era of yeah, just same. black education back yes. in the late 80s, early 90s. So yes. a different world for me. Hmm. I'm going to nominate a, a girl group, actually. Ooh. We've talked to now, thank God, black, SWV, 702. Mm. I'm forgetting people, but every single girl group member has mentioned In Vogue mm -hmm. on our couch. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Everybody yep. has mentioned them as like the blueprint. Yeah. And I feel like they're still touring. They look fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, they're as fresh as ever, but they don't get the, the same love, I they think, as some of the groups that were inspired by them guys. Yeah, so I'm right. going Invoke Funky Divas out yeah. there. Funky yeah. Divas. Love that album, That's by the right. way. Yep. Yes. All versions of Invoke for the record, right? All versions. Okay. All members. Sure. Mm -hmm. All members. Even with the Although I am partial to the OG4, <laughs> yeah. I'm, shit happens, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. So, so I understand, but I love Invoke. 
since I'm in the ATL, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm do it behind behind the scenes person, uh, Deborah Killings. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a good one. That's a really Thank good you. one, Chuck. That's a good one. You just killed. Oh my yes. God. You just ruined the day. Mr. Yeah. Harmony, I have yeah. nothing to say. <laughs> that's, that's good. What? Thank nothing. You. I learned so much yeah. from Deborah. So much. Yes. Oh my yeah. God. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm going to yeah. tell you my story afterwards, but Deborah is very special. Oh, oh incredible. Yes. Super special. Deborah won. <laughs> Deborah won. <laughs> We're done. Deborah won. That's it. Drop the mic. Y'all voting? Y'all nominate Deborah? Y'all second my motion? I'm going to nominate Deborah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So just to recap, we got Deborah Killings in Vogue, A Different World, and Johnny Wright. This is so yeah. unfair. I don't know. <laughs> well, I got three votes right now. Right. I think I think you win. I just need we one. We can tie it up if we want to. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> we can tie it up. And, no, no. So we we can vote as many times you want this first go round, and if we hit a tie, okay. then we'll do the tiebreaker. Yeah. yeah. So let's start it off with Johnny Wright. No, I love you, okay. Johnny. But. All right. She said, "I love you, Johnny." But. <laughs> a different world it made me want to go to a black college. Absolutely. So I got to vote there. Okay. And Vogue. I, I, I like them. One, two, three, okay. Okay. They were inspiring. Deborah Killings. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, I love that. Yeah, yeah man. Those backgrounds yeah. are classic. De- classic. Deborah, yeah. If you read liner notes, yeah. If you loved vocals, yes. mm-hmm. if you loved all the, the behind the scenes stuff, and you knew Deborah Killings, mm-hmm. people don't really give her her flowers. Deborah Killings is a sound. And her yeah. solo record on Verity. Solo yeah. record. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Well, congratulations. Deborah Killings is our winner this week. Very good. That's the role. That was good. Well done. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Deborah couldn't be here, so we're accepting the award on her behalf. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, we'll make sure Chuck gives it to her later. Yes. <laughs> this has been a great conversation. It really yeah. Is. Thank you both. Yeah. Thank for real. You. This is Thank you for having us. And I yeah. hope y'all feel like the legends that y'all are. Yeah. Because y'all added so much to black music. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. In every way. Make sure you follow us on all platforms at We Sound Crazy and WeSoundCrazy.com. Visit Music City in Nashville holds us down every single time we decide to drop this We Sound Crazy craziness, right? So shout out Visit Music City. Yeah, shout out Guru. Yeah. Mike Guru Johnson making sound. Shout out Izzy Ike. Izzy Ike. Izzy Ike. Oh. Izzy Ike. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we leave, we ask our special guests to take us out with any song. Any song you feel like just is uh wraps up this conversation. Mm. What so. you mean take you out? Like sing something? No, no, no. We're gonna play oh, it. We're gonna play uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. We need a song. Shamar's like, y'all you keep trying, trying to get me to sing. Right. 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 We're gonna go in the studio with you guys, so, okay? She's like, gonna so stop begging. Right. <laughs> right. Totally. Um, let's see, what would wrap ahead. it up? Go ahead, Brandy. Um, I think what would be fitting is I wanna hear. Lisa's rap from Ooh on the TLC tip. I want to hear uh, Ain't Too Proud to Beg. That's oh, what I want to oh, hear. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. yeah. That's a good way to close this out. That's yeah. Right. Appreciate y'all. Oh, thank you. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Black. Until next week, y'all, we sound crazy. We out of here. Peace. 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 We sound crazy! crazy.